Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm here today with Nick Marzano, who is the head of Young Involved Philadelphia. Uh, thanks for coming, Nick. Uh, really are excited to like have you guys in, and we just want to know like a little about, bit about what you guys do. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mo. Uh, so Young Involved Philadelphia, we uh, engage, connect, and represent the young demographic. We're trying to build a more active citizenship, mm -hmm. and that starts with lowering barriers uh, for people that are new to the city or are just saying to themselves, I want to get involved, uh, all the way up through lowering barriers to training in terms of how do I become a nonprofit leader, a young nonprofit leader, or a young uh, public leader. Great. Cool. Uh, so you guys are coming off of a very successful State of Young Philly um, at the end of last year. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that and tell us like kind of like what what were your favorite parts? Yeah, uh, it was it absolutely exceeded expectations. I think any expectations that we had or our partners had, uh, we were really excited about it. Um, some of my well, first of all, I'll say we did something different this year, and we really backed away from what had been a great model, uh, but was very much you know our, the board and committee coming together and, and dreaming up a schedule for the week that was representative of some of the, the most exciting uh, things in civic engagement, uh, and some opportunities to really connect with uh, partners and connect with each other. That's, that's a huge piece, as I mentioned before. <laughs> this year, we decided to launch an RFP out that uh, really defined events, asked partners to imagine events as uh, something in participation with each other. So you had to find at least one organization to partner up with. It had to be, we wanted events to be about Philadelphia and about civic, uh, civic life in Philadelphia, not necessarily about one organization in particular. Um, and we had over 20, we had over 35 responses um, and over 22 events. So. That was, that was very exciting for me. Yip actually hosted uh, three events, the opening event, the closing event, and uh, what we called the Millennial Mouth Off, um, which was a chance for, for young leaders to really dive in with some, um, some real established uh, leaders in Philadelphia. That was probably one of my, my favorite uh, events of the week. Um, but overall, great, great success. Cool, yeah, it, it seemed like it had a really great turnout and ha really started to engage people on like a deeper level. I love the idea that uh, it was not just about one organization, but about kind of like uh, moving forward millennials and in involvement in the city as a whole um, and kind of like birthing those kind of ideas out of like the people in the community and uh, having them get involved. I've noticed that like in the last year there have been a lot of opportunities like you were talking about the mouth off uh, having actual leaders like in there and talking face to face with people. Um, can you talk a little bit about like what you've seen um, in terms of kind of like the like Gips members and get actually getting involved because um, I know that we had there's the ward leader uh, event and I've noticed a lot of people actually getting involved. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we've had two. We had two big things that happened for us last year that coincided with I think a lot of our our goals for the year in terms of building out new programming. One of them was that we had a committee person election, and for those who who uh, aren't familiar, if you're not familiar, um, committee person is the sort of the lowest rung on our on our city's political totem pole. It's a great place for people to get involved. Um, and it only comes up every so often. The elections come around uh, every, I believe it's four years. Uh, oh, wow, I didn't know that. So, so we had a great opportunity here, uh, and if it's five years, I'm gonna get called out <laughs> on that, but I believe it's every four years. And um, so you only have an opportunity every so often to get involved, and we, we took advantage of that with a Ward 101 event. Um, I know some other organizations had a Ward 101 event as well. It was a great, uh, great place to, to get people excited about political service. Um, and then we also had the Pew Report come out, which talked about millennials um, rush flocking to the city, and then also saying in five years they're not sure if they fifty percent of them are not sure if they see themselves here. So there was a huge opportunity to talk about not just how to keep millennials here, and, and a lot of the conversation for the first half of the year did focus around that. But I think what you saw were organizations like Yip and our partners and. Uh, you know, folks like uh, established leaders like the folks you saw at the Millennial Mouth Off, uh, Jane Golden, Sam Katz, uh, AJ Raju were there, uh, looking looking to engage millennials and looking towards uh, building a more attractive and engaged city 
for everyone. So while while the focus really was on a generation last year, um, I think the output and and the generations that were getting involved in that effort was really more around um, a better a better Philadelphia. Yeah, I love that the programming is like very accessible. It's very uh, it does make it more engaging and more interesting, uh, and it makes people uh, really grab a hold of what they could possibly do as a Philadelphia citizen. It's uh, it's really great to see. So, well, thank you so much. Uh, that's all of our time. Uh, I'm I'm really excited that you were able to to join us, and uh, we'll make sure to share all the information about how to get involved. Uh, so yeah. Thank you so much, Nick. That's great. Thanks, Mo. Cool.